Welcome to Montego Bay. That's right, we are in Montego Bay and we're going to have a great time. I'm a Jamaican, I live in Kingston and St. Andrew, Jamaica and I'm not afraid to admit that I really don't know a lot of areas outside of Kingston and St. Andrew and I know I'm not the only Kingstonian who doesn't know a lot of areas outside of Kingston and St. Andrew so I reject your judgment, do not judge me. But we're gonna fix that, we're gonna fix that today and we're starting with Montego Bay. Montego Bay is one of Jamaica's touristy areas. We have all-inclusive hotels, we have activities, we have beaches, we have water sports, you name it. So a lot of tourists always come to Montego Bay to enjoy a great vacation. Now, as a foodie, if I was visiting Jamaica for the first time as a tourist, I would want to get into all of the Jamaican food, especially jerk. You know Jamaica is famous for jerk seasoning. Now, when we talk about jerk, we're not just talking about chicken. We're talking about jerk chicken, jerk pork, jerk rabbits, jerk chicken back. We basically jerk everything as far as I'm concerned. Now, I would hope that Montego Bay is treating our tourists to some of the best jerk that they're is to have in Jamaica. So please, my Montegonian friends, tell me in the comments, what are some great jerk spots that you know in Montego Bay? While you're doing that, I'm gonna check out a few and I really hope that the ones I find make the list. So our first jerk spot is going to be the Port Pit. The Port Pit is located on the Hip Strip. If you don't know, the Hip Strip is Gloucester Avenue and this is where the life of the party is in Montego Bay. Nightclubs, casinos, game arcades, restaurants, fine dining restaurants, casual restaurants, the hip strip is it. So let's go check out the port pit and see what they have to offer. So the setup of port pit is pretty typical of any jerk joint you'll find in Jamaica. Pretty casual dining setup, reggae, dancehall music playing in the background. And the real charm of the restaurant is being able to see the chef preparing the jerk to meats. So for a Jamaican jerks, but I'll give the pork pit 4 out of 5 for ambience. Pretty cool. It's what you would expect. There's a variety of jerk meats as I mentioned before. So you can get your regular quarter or half jerk pork, jerk chicken. You can get several different sides if you wish. Fries, bami, rice and peas, bread. And then there's a variety of different types of juices that you can choose from. The customer service was very good. Every person we encountered was pretty warm and efficient. And the service was quite quick. Fast service is pretty much a feature of any jerk joint in Jamaica. So, so if you're not getting quick service, not the place to be. So here we see in the jerked meats as the chef is about to prepare my jerk chicken for me. They pretty much chop up the meat. Whatever You can choose what meat you want actually. And you, when it comes to pork, you can tell the chef if you like uh, the fatty pieces, the skin, the fleshy pieces. I'm not a huge fan of pork, so I don't really like the pork skin and pork fat. So I was like, chef, give me some lean pieces of pork there, please. As for presentation, this jerk meal looks pretty much like what a jerk meal is supposed to look like. So as you can see, I got rice and peas, jerk chicken, jerk pork, and some bami on the side because I love to eat jerk chicken with bami, fried bami that is. Getting a closer look at the meat, the chef did throw in some fatty pieces into my pork, but I wasn't too mad at it. I did get a good amount of lean pieces as well. Now, the food was okay. I, I wouldn't say that this was the best jerk chicken I've ever had. The pork on the other hand was pretty good. A bit on the fatty side as I mentioned before but it, it wasn't too bad. And the portion size was good for both the pork and the chicken. Sometimes you buy a quarter pork and it's almost like you get two pieces of pork. You know so the portion sizes weren't bad at all. I liked the flavor of the pork. Not too porky like I said I'm not a huge fan of pork but I love my little jerk pork and my bacon and my ham and those types of pork meats you know. So the flavor was quite nice. The rice and peas I couldn't quite put my finger on it. There was something that threw me off about the rice and peas because it was just like a flavor that I didn't quite expect from rice and peas I don't know if it's the seasoning that they put in it but I'm just expecting my rice and peas to taste nice and coconut flavored you know 
but i'll admit it could be just me because my partner had no issues with it he actually liked the rice and peas now the bami i'm a girl that love bami but this one was a little bit on the oily side to be honest and a bit mushy on the inside but it wasn't too bad overall i'll give the pork pit a three and a half out of five for the food and the price was quite affordable everything here cost us 2780 jamaican dollars i'll share the us dollar equivalent on the screen but this was quite an affordable meal and for what it's worth i'd say i'd definitely go back to the port pit and i'd also recommend the port pit both to my fellow jamaican friends as well as if you're a tourist coming to jamaica this is a good spot to try in montego bay <music> Boy, the sun is up, but I'm not complaining. Thank you, Lord, for the good weather. Now, getting to this second spot was a little weird because I found Jerky's Bar and Grill online. Tell me why Google Maps took us to Scotches. I do understand. Montegonians, please explain to me. Is it that Jerky's Bar and Grill rebranded? Is it the same company? Because when I asked the people at Scotches, they said, no, it's a different company. So where exactly is Jerky's Bar and Grill? Because I still have not found it. So we ended up at Scotches. To be honest with you, it was not my intention to go to Scotches. I deliberately didn't want to go to Scotches because I feel like Scotches is such a big name with just all this hype. And I don't necessarily feel they live up to that hype. You guys can t let me know what you think. Now, I spoke to a Montegonian and she told me Scotches is one of her favorite jerk places, but I'm sorry. <sighs> I kind of question her, her taste buds at this point. But anyway, let's check out Scotches and see what they have to offer. Scotches is a very popular name in Jamaica when it comes to jerk, but somehow I've just never been really convinced that they really live up to the hype. Maybe that's my bias speaking and I stand corrected, but on this day when I realized that I wasn't going to find jerkies, I was willing to try scotches. I believe I would have been trying it for the first time. Now, as you can see, the ambiance is very different from the port pit. The port pit has a typical rustic type of vibe when it comes to a jerk spot in Jamaica. Scotches is a little bit more, it's a little bit more refined, a little less informal, a little less casual, but the menu again typical jerk pork chicken different sides if you want and i see where they have some fried chicken as well no first red flag you cannot see the jerk meat being prepared which again is a typical feature of jerk spots in jamaica but anyway we're gonna try the food here just the same and you know one of the first things that i noticed when i got the food was the color of the chicken by nature of the jerk seasoning which is pretty much a dark powdered seasoning or dark blended seasoning the chicken and the pork or whatever item is being jerked should reflect that dark color yeah the chicken was looking very pale too pale for me as far as i'm concerned so that was one of the first turn off now i hate to sound negative on the onset but i'm just gonna be really honest with you guys i wasn't impressed with the food at scotches i was not impressed with the chicken you can see my face i'm not reacting to the food at all typically when the food good you're gonna you're gonna know i'm gonna be smiling i'm gonna be dancing i'm gonna be enjoying my food and you're gonna know that i'm enjoying my food here i'm just emotionless reactionless there's just nothing no impact even with the sauce the chicken and the pork there wasn't really much flavor the bami one of my favorite things to eat with jerk chicken was on the hard side it was pretty tough the best thing we had in this meal was the sweet potato and the water <laughs> just keeping it real with you uh i would not recommend scotches to any friend of mine any local friend of mine if you're a tourist coming to jamaica for the first time and you want to try jerk and scotches is the only place within your reach based on where you're located i would say sure fine go and try it but it's it wouldn't be my first second or third choice if there was an option it would not make the top three 
and I'm sorry, it, the name doesn't live up to the hype. But I'd really love to know, Montegonians, please leave it in the comments. Tell me, what are the best jerk spots in Montego Bay? Is the pork pit the best spot in Montego Bay for jerk chicken and jerk pork? Please let me know because I found it so difficult to find good jerk spots. And I'm sorry, I was not impressed with scotches. I really enjoyed going to these jerk spots in Montego Bay. If you agreed or disagreed with any of my ratings, leave it down in the comments. Let me know what you think. And if there are any other jerk spots that we didn't find today, also leave that in the comments. Now, after all of that jerk, I feel like I'm all jerked out. Right now, I'm in the mood for some more, you know, some different types of food. So I'm really curious to know what other types of restaurants Montego Bay has to offer. And we're going to check that out in another video. So stay tuned and look out for the next video in this Montego Bay series. Yes, it's a whole series. We're going to see what else we can get up to while we're in Montego Bay. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like it. And please subscribe before you leave. Thank you so much for the support and until the next one take care